Mother Divine, wisest Athena, mighty Poseidon, the Earth Shaker, Zeus Artemis, with her deadly aim set to pierce it in the heart of a hummingbird. Pain tap is all of them. I see you there. Come closer. All the mortals are made in the born workshop of fools. Jagged reflections from a broken mirror. Behold your god! This one killed six innocent children to satisfy her rage. They squabble, burn with jealousy, cheat, fight and murder. They are cruel, vindictive, and selfish, and, like the heel of Achilles, these weaknesses will be far outweighed. I have no such flaws. The rest have fallen. Only one stands between me and the rehabilitation of Olympus. Only the foulest, most arrogant, narrow-minded coxer son of Kronos who trapped me beneath the earth. The one and only Zeus! How oh, I've missed you, Prometheus, my favorite castle. You chained me to this rock and fed my liver to an eagle out of love. Ah, uh -huh. You need my help. Typhon is free. You once fought beside his allies, the Titans, convince him to stand down. It's not that simple. He is even blocking my ability to glimpse the future. Sebastian. Go on. Blast me. My God! He took my lightning! He took everything! Even the other gods are missing! Look to the mortals. That's done! Those evil, impy, silly, tasteless parasites were all turned to stone! One of those evil parasites is about to save your royal ass. My ass is safely lodged in the Aegean stables, and mortals will never be anything but a mistake. Care to make a wager? If I'm right, my sin of stealing fire and ensuring their survival becomes a blessing. You will find your punishment unjust. It's a little... Uh, extreme. If you win, I'll end your punishment and set you free. Perhaps, if I win, you help me stop Typhon, whatever it takes. Very well. Let the tale of Phoenix be my redemption! Oh no, not one of your stories. How long is this going to... My tale begins at sea. A ship of soldiers, returning from a faraway battle, their victory ambushed by an unexpected storm. The sea tossed and turned, waves churned to a throw. The line between sky and sea all but vanished. The mountainous peaks of the waves descended into valleys nearly as deep as Tartarus. You're really painting a picture here. It's an art. Point is, the ship didn't stand a chance.
fight among them, a shield bearer who dreamt of battle, but had seen their Wait, skirmish. don't tell me. Hair like a waterfall on the cliffs of Santarini. among them, a shield bearer who dreamt of battle, but had seen nary a skirmish, a teller of tales, not a doer of deeds. Phoenix. What a name! Phoenix! Sounds like the sound a dumb bird makes when it lights itself on fire, which would be ridiculous. Although, I should write that down. Washed up. On an unknown shore, Phoenix awoke. saw her captain and fellow soldiers in the distance. Through a trick of the light, she could almost see them waving and calling to her. Phoenix! Again! You may not be your brother Ligiron, but I will make something of you yet. Hold my shield. Try not to drop it this time. I didn't see you there. Don't let them get to you. They're just jealous. It's not often someone has a brother like yours. Local ghost! Local ghost! Can you hear me? You've gone cold. What magic is this? Legiron! Where are you, brother? Unarmed and lost, Phoenix was vulnerable. I have to be calm. I have to follow my training. Brother sword! No! been my hero, my North Star. I will bring you back. I swear it. Phoenix had never been allowed to hold the hallowed sword. A gift from Achilles for bravery in battle. It balanced perfectly in her palm, as if forged for it. Achilles' sword? Brother must have been put in. Hunter, 
Is something wrong with your voice? I never got a sword. Just saying. Phoenix looked up. She looked up. By the gods! Stay back! She readied her sword for her first real fight. Phoenix felt her training come into focus. Should be able to survey the land from up there. This is the largest statue of Hermes I've ever seen. I wonder who built it. Besieged by challenge, totally alone, this young hero was determined to save her fellow soldiers and brother. Boring. Skip this part! No, this is important for the sense of atmosphere. or a seer, they could help me undo this curse. A griffin? But they aren't real. Let me go! Help! Hey! I'll save you! I'm coming! I need to find a way to reach that rift. A reminder of the heavy responsibility. You gave him your blade? Oh, Achilles. I, I meant to ask, why exactly would you expect to receive a sword from Achilles? Oh, uh, as an offering. Just a routine offering from someone who gazed into your eyes and told you you were special. That's all. I left a rose on his breastplate. Got something in my eye. Keep going. to you. Prometheus, stop with the mortal pity party and get to the action part. Fine. Now that's more like <laughs> The adamant being shed by Typhon's minions, metal of the gods, threw itself to Phoenix, as if wanting to be forged into something greater. I'll have to swim to the other shore. <sighs> uh. 
Unlike the mortal flesh, which had been frozen into marble, the pomegranate sprung forth defiantly. Hello? Can you hear me in there? I'm coming! I found your axe! Phoenix approached the axe, feeling it call to her. Looks like the axe of Atalanta must be a copy. Although... But before Phoenix could claim it, the axe was pulled into the pit by a terrible force. Who knocks upon my door? That old trick will work on me! Come into my parlor, set the Cyclops to the sailor. A lot of poetry for something they're just gonna stick in. Well, that's the end of Phoenix. Perfectly passable storytelling. I won't lie, there were moments that dragged, but you really got me with that ending. Now, let's settle up. Time for you to help me against Typhon. It's not over yet. Not by a long shot. It's Tartarus! Just exactly where had Phoenix landed? Tartarus! The nasty abyss where I imprisoned Typhon. He must have opened rifts into the vaults of the underworld when he escaped. You know it, I know it. Say it! Phoenix was in Tar. Sure. I hate you! But aren't you intrigued? No! Go! Oh. Atalanta, deadliest of hunters, swiftest of heroes, falling at the hands of Typhon. Didn't I change him into a lion? You turned a lot of people into a lot of things. I need to stop drinking. Your 
still standing? I sent something more in you. A bolt of my lightning! Scattered, hidden by Typhon. It's over! Phoenix is Helios Ash! No one can handle those bolts but me! Oh, really? much for her to bear. What's happening to me? Bye-bye, mortal. And then, just like that, it stopped. No! The wings grounded the lightning. They were designed to withstand storms. That shouldn't be possible. And yet, this is just the beginning. Having plunged into the abyss of Tartarus and living to tell the tale, Phoenix emerged victorious. For now? That stranger I was chasing, where did he go? With the wings, she would be able to flit across the ancient bridge and find out. I wouldn't just step on discarded junk. Who knows where those have been? Many a night, Phoenix had told tales of a genius. An inventor named Daedalus, and his extraordinary wings. Perhaps someone copied their design, Phoenix mused. So junk. Ooh, maybe it's hers. Legiron was here. He's the famous hero, not me. What am I going to do? Put the fiends of Tartaros to sleep with storytelling?
What's that glimmering? Maybe if I sneak up on it. Wearing those bracers. And now, they belong to Phoenix. Through dumb luck. Stop! Over here! Fight someone who's armed instead! So, Phoenix, after boldly besting the Gorgon that ambushed Heracles... What are you doing there? That thing with your voice? Yeah. Heracles? Yeah, that! That is how it's supposed to be pronounced. Seems like a lot of work, but it's your funeral. Except I can't die. Don't remember. <laughs> I get in by the gods I feel like I could lift a mountain ah, if only those bracers could move this one Hades alive you two get a room <laughs> Instead of heating up the Temple of Apollo to speak with the Oracle, Phoenix is hightailing it after this stranger. Phoenix, truly a good person, sought to help the mysterious stranger. But she never lost sight of the fact that she was getting ever closer to the Temple of Apollo. And the solution to the terrible curse inflicted upon her brother and fellow soldiers. Oh yes, remind me to erase my own faults with narration. Zeus, truly a good person, murdered his first wife by getting her to turn into a fly and then ate her. Wait, that's what happened to Metis? I thought she was visiting her sister in Babylon. Oops.
They play seashells, they skip rocks, stare at the wall, you know, they're hyperactive. This from the god who thinks a week constitutes a long-term relationship. <laughs> Keep that steady heart, little one, and you might just survive. Armed with the agility of Achilles, the speed of Atalanta, the wits of Odysseus, and the strength of Heracles, Phoenix was ready to face whatever the future had in store. That's it? That's all she has going for her? Fa! Good luck! The desire to save her comrades and brother hardened Phoenix's resolve. Ah, too easy. saw the minions of Typhon had cornered the stranger, leaving no escape. This would be her greatest battle yet. Oh, 
I hope the stranger dies. Phoenix looked at the top of the observatory tower. The planetaria could be seen. Planetary Hubiwati? Uh, it depicts the orbit of planets and... You know what, never mind.